Kit Guru is with Alpha Cool at CES 2024 in an incredibly noisy suite full of boisterous Americans and Germans, and we like the background noise. Let's look at some products, shall we? The Apex Skeleton Case, two versions. This is the basic strip down on the left, it sells for 500 pounds, euros, dollars. In essence, it's some carbon tubes, some metal plates, and some glass. We've been told one of these is on the way to us for review. I thought this case launched a while ago, but it turns out the first shipment is just about to land from the manufacturer. As we move around, we have the fully featured version, which includes a distro plate and also includes this metal panel to hide cable clutter. That version of the Apex Skeleton, about 900 pounds, euros, dollars. ESCPU coolers. I don't generally feature workstation products, however this is something different because I recently reviewed Sapphire Rapids 4th Gen Intel Xeon and that is what this block fits. Alphacool tells us it can dissipate 900 watts. Internally it has four cooling engines directing coolant towards the CPU, therefore it can handle a huge amount of power. But I wondered, why has it got carbon fibre on it? Turns out this is actually carbon, it's to stiffen the block, it is functional. And also, this block can be switched out with different mounts to mount on Threadripper, and that sounds deeply interesting. ES Quick Release Fasteners. We've seen quick releases from other companies that are bought in. This is an Alpha Cool product, end to end. Feels absolutely lovely. And has a really satisfying snap. Server products, rack mounted. The main point I took away here is, the reason these are bare metal is that server people don't like flecks of paint flying around within their systems. So bare metal is the preference. Here we have a whole family of core distro plates. These look absolutely amazing. Now naturally we are familiar with distro plates, however there are two particular points to pick up on here. One is, none of the G-quarter threads are just cut into the plexi. They've all got inserted thread bosses and that's because if you go directly into the plexi you will suffer cracking without doubt. So all this metal is a necessity. Furthermore, the plexi has been machined so cleanly it almost looks like glass. It's an absolutely lovely piece of work and they assure us this is the straight machine finish. This is not after polishing. This is how it comes out of the workshop. I've dragged one of the core distro plates, so plexi, across to the core tube reservoir, which is glass. By eye, there's a subtle difference, but they are very similar. The core tube reservoir is due very soon. I like the look of that. If you told me a year or two ago, AlphaCore make products that look this good, I would have struggled to believe you. That is a complete overhaul of their previous design aesthetic. Similarly, the Core XT45 radiator. So it's a 45mm radiator with loads of machining, but this is the fun part. Magnetic plate and look cables because RGB lighting. And if you want to reverse your RGB, you reverse the plate. Nice and simple. Probably relatively expensive but it feels like a lovely piece of work. Again, the idea of Alpha Cool and RGB, it never used to be a thing, but these days, it's very much a thing. And here's an example of an Alpha Cool distro plate. This chunky piece of work on this ASUS ROG Z750 Hero motherboard. ROG X Evangelion project, and I imagine it costs a fortune. And we're signing off next to this build by Mob My Mods, who's been a friend of Alpha Cool for many years. It's a nice tidy PC, and it's a good way to remind you, make sure you head to kickguru.net to read our news and reviews, and also see us on TikTok.